Orlando, Florida, applying to be one of the first workers at Walt Disney World, high school graduate George Calogridis made a split-second decision that set the course for his life, he picked a room where prospective hotel workers were being hired. Chuck Milam got a tip about a job opening from a transplanted Disney executive whose new house he was landscaping. Erlene Anderson jumped at the chance to take a job at the new Disney theme park in Florida, having fallen in love with the beauty of Disneyland in California during a trip two years earlier. At the time, the three were among the six, OOO employees who opened the Magic Kingdom at Disney World to the public for the first time on October 1, 1971. Now, they are among two dozen from that first day still employed at the theme park resort as it celebrates its 50th anniversary on Friday. Over those decades, Disney World added three more theme parks, two dozen additional hotels and grew to have a workforce of 77, OOO employees as it helped Orlando become the most visited place in the U.S. before the pandemic. What never changed was the original employees' devotion to the pixie dust, the dream machine created by Walt Disney and his Imagineers. Disney has been my love, and it still is, Anderson said recently before starting her shift in merchandising at a Magic Kingdom hotel. I love Disney. The employees who make up the 50-year club say the theme park resort has allowed them to grow their careers and try on new hats. Calogrid has worked his way up to be president of Walt Disney World and Disneyland in California. Milam went from a warehouse worker to a buyer of spare parts for rides and shows. Forrest Baruth joined the workforce at Disney World in January 1971 as a show director, responsible for staging and choreographing parades and shows, 